Hello, this is Henry DeGroo with a review and demonstration of three sets of approximately four inch full range speakers. Now I've built four Bluetooth uh, countertop boxes, you know, speakers, uh, stereo speakers with uh, two four inch drivers in each and 20 watts per channel. Uh, in each of these boxes and I give these to family members and things like that and I've made uh, two of the ones in the middle with granite you know that one is uh, Dayton audio speaker I've made two of those with that speaker and one with this Dynavox speaker uh, the here we go Dynavox LY401F. It's a gorgeous speaker. It's got some really cool looks to it, and uh, I love it. That one I put into a ported cabinet. So this is the only one of these three that were ported. All the others are acoustic suspension and sealed. So this one is a little bit maybe more bass from that port. Uh, this one, uh, I have two of these. I tested both of them, and I'm going to be giving you results. Uh, this one is the Dayton Audio PC1058, and that's for 8 ohms. It's like a, um, a glass woven uh, woofer. Also, a, a unique look because it's, it's not really a paper cone. It's like this glass, black glass woven uh, cone. And uh, the high-end speaker of the group is this Dayton Audio reference speaker. Uh, I think that might have an aluminum cone, and it's a little bit more glossy. I thought that might look good with the granite that I used. It's got kind of one of these pointy nose cones. And uh, that's the high-end speaker. That one costs about uh, $50. Maybe it was 40 I don't know, I can't remember, but I list that later. I'll show that later. And all of them are run and tested in the same conditions with this amplifier, the AK370, at half volume and all the other conditions flat. So here's my little man cave basement. And I got things set up here with a calibrated microphone and set one meter away from the speakers and I think I can do a little test and just kind of demo give you an example of what it sounds like when I run a test I should be able to do that let's go and give it a try all I do is press test So I run through a test like that, and let's see, let's get rid of that one. Uh, and then I can uh, smooth out the curve a little bit. It's commonly done so that there isn't so much noise in it. And here I've given you, I'll, I'll present the results for you. Uh, now this first gold line here, this is the Dayton Audio RS-108. That's about a $40 speaker. That's the, that's the expensive one out of the group. And it's supposed to be a uh, uh, very smooth response. And, and, and it is smoother. It, it's the most accurate of the three speakers, but as you'll see, uh, it's also uh, the least output, the quietest. It doesn't, it's not as loud as the other speakers, but this is very tame, these ups and downs here, are very good responses out to about um, 17,000 hertz. Um, and maybe it's a little lacking in the low end, but it is a, a, a small speaker, it's only four inches. Now, this speaker also is not quite four inches. I mean, it's the smallest four inch speaker I've ever seen, and it's more like a three inch speaker. Uh, 
uh, where the other ones are closer to four inches. Um, so uh, that's going to hurt its low end there too. So now I'll just step in the other speakers. So this one should be uh, the Dynavox speaker, and that one's about $27. Uh, and you can see a big jump in output and loudness. This is at the same volume, uh, all about twice as loud as the other one, but it's got some big dips and valleys here where the reference speaker is smoother. Uh, but this is a lot louder uh, than the uh, Dayton Audio RS. 108. Now if we add in the uh, Dayton Audio PC 105-8s, which are $14.50 each, again the output is ticked up a notch. It's slightly louder than the Dynavox's. And right here, uh, you know, we've got some declining output for the D Dynavox and it continues to decline until it turns around big where the uh, Dayton audio speaker declines a little bit, but it kind of recovers and declines a little bit and then kind of recovers. And so these hills and valleys are a little bit muted, I would say, for the Dayton audio speaker. And rising output near 10K is generally considered a good thing because off-axis response is uh, mitigated for the high frequency. So you need those to be a boosted a bit. So uh, I don't mind this uh, overproduction uh, in the 10K range because I can still hear in that range where out here at uh, 17 and 18 hertz, 18,000 hertz, um, most people can't hear that very well. There's not that much music out there at, that, at those frequencies. Um, but this is nice output here uh, where the Dynavox is, is kind of tanking in this range of eight to 9,000. And again, in here between five and 6,000. So, you know, this is a drop, but it's not as steep compared to these, most of the output of the speaker as it is for the Dynavox. So my point here is that the Dayton Audio Speaker PC-105 is is, is keeping up with the big boys, okay? It's producing good sound, and it's louder than all of them. Uh, it's not as smooth as the reference speaker, but it's not as expensive either, and it's a lot louder. And I believe it might also handle more um, power. Uh, it's, un it's less likely to blow than uh, the, than the uh, reference speaker. Um, so that's, uh, that's a review and a, and a quick demo of uh, these little boxes that I'm making and uh, a little kind of a quantitative review of those three speakers and the amplifier. Hope that was useful. Bye-bye.